don't rain on my happiness freedom. Happiness freedom. Happiness freedom. <laughs> Welcome to our 18th episode, which takes place around the time America's turning 137, which is all the shit. At least it's legal. <laughs> I do America. Did you do America? So, thanks for tuning in to our 18th episode. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched this before, we review some unsigned and unknown bands from all over the world. Not just America. <laughs> so check them out and support them because they make good music and you need to know about them. After our Band of the Week, make sure you watch to the end because we've got some big announcements after Band of the Week, so don't be lazy, just watch all of it. My pick this week is Swedish pop-punk band Future Idiots. Now, they got kind of, I don't want to say famous, but they got some publicity from doing a lot of covers. They covered all of Neighborhoods by Blink-182, but they're moving away from the covers, so we're not going to talk about that. Instead, we're going to talk about their original song, Tomorrow, which is a great song. Regardless of how big the band is, I mean, this is a really solid pop-punk song. And it made me really excited for the, the future of the band. Because this song came out a little while ago, but I believe they're probably working on new stuff now. And they have some solo, like some members that cover some things solo, so they put out a decent stream of stuff. They have like three or four albums of covers, I think, plus, like, two or three original albums, and they haven't been together all that long in the grand scheme of things. So they put out an impressive amount of material, and it's a band that if you're a fan of pop punk, you definitely need to check out. So check out the song tomorrow, and support the band. What used to be is history The past is buried in the sky This week, I'm more patriotic than Zach because my band is from Ohio, which is in America. Anyway, my band is Witness, which on June 4th, they released a lyric video for the song The Loyal Ones, which apparently I can't get away from it. It's featuring Garrett Rapp. Uh, I, don't, I don't really mind. It's just, he's not my, it's not my thing. I don't hate him in this song. He's really good. Um, the whole song's great, and I suggest uh, going and checking it out and then possibly getting excited for their new EP because I am. Uh, they had one EP before this, um, so you can get that if you want. I can put a link to that. Anyway, check out the song. You can actually click the uh, the title of this song, and it'll take you straight to the lyric video, because we're awesome like that, and we try to make things easy for you. Anyway, here's the song. For our 18th ever band of the week, we have a band that we've talked about for a while, honestly. like We had a hard time because they're not that big compared to some of the bands we've had on here, but they have a lot of backing. Yeah, they have a lot bands. of, I don't want to say mainstream, but like, okay, Caleb Shoma was producing their stuff. He's featured you, on a song. You see people all the time, like bigger people in the music scene wearing their stuff, so it's kind of like... We, we like to support the unknown and unsigned bands, but at the same time, they're not really unknown. But anyway... Siler is our band of the week. Yep. Their new song, Golden Tree, is their best song in both of our opinions. We both think that. Speak with you now. Um, You're right. It's it's fantastic. It's really fun. It's heavy. Um, and I, you can't not headbang to it when you listen yeah, to it. It's you, great. You can't. I mean, I liked 
some of their songs on the EP, not all of them, but when this song came out, I was like, damn, like, I really like this song. So, uh, now, there's no video down here, I mean, there's got a picture down there, it's nice, it's pretty to look at. They have a video for like on it. the song Deadbeat, which was probably my favorite song off the actual EP. It definitely, definitely. So, you can check out that video, but for Golden Retreat, they don't have a lyric video or anything yet. But still, go check out the song. I... It's probably available on iTunes. I think so. We'll, we'll provide a link so you can get it. But support this band. Like I said, they have a lot of backing from people already, but it, more doesn't hurt, which is pretty much the decision we came to. It's like, more doesn't hurt. We really like this band and wanted to have them on the show. So, congrats on Band of the Week and check out Golden Retreat. <laughs> So thanks for checking out the episode. Um, like we had mentioned earlier, this is our 18th episode, and as we kind of near a nice round number of 20, we were like, hey, we should have, like, seasons and end it. That way we can take some time off, maybe bring back some new features or whatever. So, going along with that, we're going to have a little contest. Whoa. Yes, a contest. That means you all get to be involved with us. All the bands of the week that we've had up till now, and at the time, episode 20, we want you to pick your favorite. We all want you to get in there and throw your vote in, and we're going to pick a winner ourselves, so we'll have our favorite, and then the fan favorite, uh, and then the winners are all going to get a little little award. Oh, yep. So, like, that'll be 20 bands. We're going to put up a poll somewhere. We haven't quite figured it out, um, but it should be coming out soon after this episode, we hope, so to give a, you know, a couple good weeks to vote or whatever. So, yeah. So, winding down the season, make sure you vote for your favorite bands. Make sure you check us out on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, and subscribe if you like the episode. And thanks for watching.